Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. I just got a box. It doesn't say who it's from. It says it's time sensitive and it's from Perros Point, Maryland. My guess is that these are the light blue Under Armour masks that I ordered. These are the ones, the featherweight ones. I have another video where I got them in every color. Purple, navy blue, gray, and black. And I have two of each. <laughs> I just washed these, so I have them all right here. But they had come out with this light blue, and you guys know light blue, robin's egg blue, turquoise, teal, all those shades, those are my favorite colors. So when I saw that they had this, I kept trying to get it, but they kept selling out of it. Now the first time I got lucky and I got a two for one deal on those masks, I was able to get every color and two of every color and not pay full price. That was pretty awesome. This time I've been checking the Under Armour website daily <laughs> since I noticed that they introduced this color, but then they haven't had them in stock until now. But I did pay full price because I wanted this color. If you don't know, I'm a figure skating coach. I wear a mask on the ice because most of my skaters, although now kids can start to get vaccinated, I'm not sure how quickly that will happen for a lot of kids. A lot of skaters don't wear a mask on the ice. They don't have to. If they're unvaccinated, they're supposed to wear it indoors. But once you get onto the ice surface, you do not have to wear a mask. Whether I agree with that or disagree with that is besides the point. I think you probably know where I stand on that because I coach for hours and hours every day wearing an N95, and let me get that so I can show you. I wear an N95, this is Re Respo Care. I'm not an affiliate or anything for Respo Care. I just like them. Actually, Dr. Mike Hansen did a video on it and I, bought a bunch of them then, and then I've reordered them too. So here's what I do, and this is hard to do with my hair down. This is why when I'm coaching, my hair is up. I put on the, a 95, and then, oh, this looks so funny. <laughs> and then I put on the UA Sport Mask. And I coach like this for hours and hours. I have other videos that explain this. I look really funny right now. You should like this video just because I look ridiculous. I have other videos that explains more about why I'm fully vaccinated with a booster and wear a mask. I also have videos that explain a PA, a personal PA system that I use and I have to remember to put that in my bag because it's charging. So I'm gonna get that too. So I use this personal PA system it's a speaker, I wear it around with the microphone. And I use that because it's really hard for the kids to hear me and it's actually really hard to yell with a mask on and I'm not one of those people that pulls the mask down. Once it's on, it's on. Stays on, doesn't come off for anything until I go out of the building. Even when I change it, I go outside to do that. So, I wanna, I'm excited. I wanna see, now, now I look less silly. I wanna see what's in this box because I'm hoping the color is what I think it is. Let's go. If it's not the Under Armour mask, this is like pointless. <laughs> it's possible. It is. Good, it is, because that would have been embarrassing. Well, it wouldn't have been because I just wouldn't have posted the video, I guess. So as we learned with the last, when we got all of these, it does not come with that little separate pouch that we like so much from the first generation of the mask. I think that's a bummer, but, ooh, so this is pretty. This is what it looks like. It 
it's similar to gray. Like it actually looks a little bit gray, but when you hold it up next to the gray, it's not. It's definitely not navy blue. This size, by the way, is an extra small slash small. And somebody asked me, actually, somebody didn't ask me. Somebody told me that they saw on the Under Armour website that the size, sizing was different for these than the original mask. And I don't know where they saw that. I replied back to them and asked them where they saw that and they didn't reply because it doesn't say that on the Under Armour website. The, these are exactly the same as the other ones, the original ones. And this, let me show you, because people always ask me, what size is that? Well, I'm showing you. I tell you, but now I'm showing you too. And I do have two of them. I mean, they're both exactly the same, so I don't think you need to see both of them. I've been using these now since July. It is now November, so four months. I like these better than I like the original ones. They fit really well with my whole system of, where did I just put, here it is. With my whole system of this, with the N95. This is why I wear my hair up, much easier. And then I put this mask over it. And you see how that works, right? So I might look a little bit loony, wearing two masks. Sometimes a kid will ask me, but I just tell them I want to be extra careful. So what do you think? Have you guys tried the Under Armour, the original mask, and have you tried the featherweight? Which do you like better? Do you feel like there's a difference between them? Are you still wearing them? Do you wear them all the time? Leave me comments down below. Let me know because I'm super curious. Whenever I do videos on these masks, I always get a lot of views, but I don't really hear from people that have used them and what their experience has been. So I'm curious, I wanna know what your experience is like. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with someone else that it could help. And just post it to your social media too. And remember, I post videos every week that can help you with your figure skating, your fitness, your nutrition, and ultimately live a better life. So remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. This is Amy, thank you for watching. I will see you real soon, bye.